Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. Today I will be showing you the best way to get the Skeleton Curses, how I got it, and it took me about a month to get mine, and I just followed the steps that I'm going to show you in this video. And if you enjoyed, then like, but if my voice does sound a bit weird, I do apologise, it is because... I was sick and my nose is still blocked but I, I haven't uploaded in two weeks so I'm uploading that and yeah enjoy the video. Number one, my first piece of advice is to go on uh, streaks so basically it's, it counts how many times you sunk others without you sinking in a row. So, for example, if you sank one player, one player, it goes up to one. If you sank two, it goes up to two. If you sank three, it goes up to four, etc, etc. So, what you're going to want to do is go on the highest streak that you can get, but don't go too far, because if you sink, you lose all that. So... What I recommend, if you're not too experienced, what I used to do is go on two streaks and then sell out. Now I usually end up going on four or five. That's if you're more experienced and you're more comfortable with the mechanics of the game. But if you're newer, then definitely go for lower streaks of uh, two. Because two will get you extra reputation when you're lower. That's why streaks are good, because... The higher the streak, the higher the money you get for lowering, and the higher the reputation you get for lowering, the higher the streak. So, my first piece of advice is definitely go on streaks if you can, because it's just a win-win uh, situation with streaks. They're probably one of the best things that they've added to Hourglass. Number two, make sure you have time on your hands because it's probably one of the most important things in Sea Thieves if you're actually going to want to win fights. Because some fights might take five minutes, others might take ten minutes, others might take ten hours. So if you're going to fight, then make sure you at least have two hours to spare because you, don't, you never know how long you're going to be fighting for. So... Yeah, make sure you have a lot of time on your hands because, like I said, you don't know how long you're going to be fighting for. Number three, make sure you have supplies, and I mean loads of supplies. Like, make sure you run around the outpost with a storage crate, make sure you buy uh, stuff from the captain's shipwright shop, and just get any type of cannonballs, wood, cursed cannonballs, food, anything. Everything is important Important in these fights. It could be win or lose situation if you have a pineapple or not, believe it or not. Because I've had so many times that I've lost just because I don't have good food or I ran out of cannonballs or wood. So I cannot stress this enough. Please stack up, stack up on supplies before you do this. Because you don't know how long you're going to be fighting and you don't know how much supplies you're going to make and how much you're going to need. You can collect supplies from other people after you sink them, but who says you are going to sink them if you don't have supplies in the first place? So I recommend getting supplies very, very much. Number four, make sure you're not fully focused on just winning. It's it's a game, you know, you can always come back tomorrow. You don't have to get the curse today. If not tomorrow, then the next day. Just don't be focused so much on winning because that's what I used to do and I burn out so quickly after two fights. And it's important to take breaks as well. Like, if you, if you do hourglass every single day all day you are going to get burnt out in the first two days i'd say so don't like listen to anyone if they're telling you not to unless it's actually damaging your mental health like it did to mine you lose your will to live if you do this too much i'm telling you so please don't do this all day every day because 
I, I used to do that and I quit Sea Thieves for like six, seven months after and I came back and it was way more fun after uh, my break so if you do need a break from Hourglass go do some normal things like go steal a Fort Fortune or a Fort of the Damned or something have fun, that's what games are about especially this one Hourglass isn't everything some people enjoy it, some people don't so do what you enjoy in the seas Number five, Hourglass isn't everything. Please just uh, don't be afraid of sinking. Winning isn't everything either. You can learn from your mistakes if you sink. That's what I try to do. Every time you sink, don't go rage quit. Go go rage quit on YouTube or whatever. Try to think of what you did wrong that fight and then improve it in the next one. That's what I used to do and I got pretty good that way in about a couple of weeks I got way better so please just learn from your mistakes instead of rage quitting because if you just rage quit you'll never get better I'm sorry but people that do is it, they everyone rage quits but if you do it on a daily basis like every every fight every time you sink you do need a you do need a wake up call because there's no way you're gonna get better if you just keep doing that so please if you can just don't keep rage quitting keep pushing because if you really want the curse you'll get there eventually because if you keep pushing everything comes with hard work and if you put in the work in an hourglass then you will end up getting it i've had so many friends that was, that was so excited when the first time they saw the skeleton curse uh, on the trailers they were like oh i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get this in like two weeks and then they gave up after fights they just started screaming they just started raging i kept pushing i got mine they still haven't got theirs so please don't be like my friends they they're going slowly but they are getting there slowly but if you don't rage quit you'll get there a lot faster trust me so yeah that's pretty much my advice don't rage quit or anything and you'll end up getting it 99.1% of you are not subscribed come on if you've watched this far at least give me a sub please I'm trying my hardest to make these videos number six learn how to control your ship properly you will learn over time while doing hourglass but this is probably one of the most important tips to help you win most of your fight if you know how to control your ship properly it it will make this so much easier and you could probably win 95 percent of the fights if you're good and you know how to control the ship and yeah if you find that out you'll probably win most of your fights so learn how to control your ship know your ship learn when to uh, anchor turn how to death spin how to cannon properly when to raise sails halfway when to lower them fully uh, when to spiral out when to spiral around someone uh, stuff like that learn how to control your ship because that's the most important part of hourglass Uh, thank you everyone for watching this video and if you follow these tips you'll get your skeleton curse in about a month or two so yeah uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one